Well, in this last week of 2021, well, things are pretty much going to stay the same here across the area as our jet stream is still oriented in a fashion where it's dipping across the west, but that is pumping up a ridge here across the southern tier states. So that means the cold air is locked up for now, but it won't last for the rest of the week. In fact, by Saturday night going into Sunday, we may start to see this pattern change just a little bit. So let's check out our weather headlines. Looks like more above normal temperatures on the way. Again, that's going to continue through at least Friday, probably Saturday as well. So that means we're going to have a nice New Year's Eve and New Year's Day on the way. But a strong weekend cold front by Saturday night into Sunday morning is looking a little more probable across the area. So we'll continue to track that potential as it gets closer. Still several days out, but the models are indicating that that is possible. But in the meantime, we will have more clouds start to take over as we head into tomorrow morning. There could be a sprinkle or two, but I don't think it's going to amount to too much over the next 48 hours as we will have partly to mostly cloudy skies continuing over the next couple of days here. Again, more clouds in the morning, maybe some peaks of sunshine as we head into the afternoon hours, and we'll just kind of ditto that over the next few days. So tonight, temperatures falling into the 60s. It will be mild out there. 64 to 66, Waco Temple, Colleen, a little cooler out to the west, and mid to upper 60s off to the east. Then tomorrow highs will be into the upper 70s, maybe a few low 80s across our southeastern counties. It is going to be another warm December day, and it's been a warm December out there. As we check out your forecast, pair 79s there Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday at 74, Friday at 78 degrees. Happy New Year's here as we head into the weekend. Looks like New Year's Day is going to be on the warm side at 77, and then here comes your cold front. And that could bring a couple freezes as we head into early next week.